Okay, fine. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of The Desk, episode one, I'm going to believe 31, hopefully. Special a one, one-on-one edition, you son of a bitches. Because uh, these have actually been pretty popular in the past, where we go back and talk to people who've been a part of OCW for many years and get their, you know, their thoughts and about their career, what they've done, and all kinds of good bits and bobs. Um, so joining me is a future Hall of Famer. Um, I don't think he needs much of an introduction, but we'll just say Noridu's Bubba, the one and the only Melon, a.k.a. a.k.a. AKA, AKA Drago yeah, Caesar. Hi, Bubba. How's it going, man? Doing fine. So, so Drago decided he wanted to do something, so I figured, you know, I would oblige because... How often do you get to to speak to the the, the Milan the miracles? So the first the first thing is is that um, when when did you join uh, when did you join OCW anyway, Fed? Uh, it was around April of 2013. Wow. Uh, what I was in uh, another Fed using real real wrestlers cool. with uh, one of my friends who said, "Hey, you should take a look at OCW. You know, they use custom characters, um, and it might be something cool." And so he was on ambition at the time. He was Chris Moore. Ooh, I remember him. Yeah. He would later become King Tyga, uh, which fizzled out <laughs> yes. quickly. Yes, yes. Um, but, you know, as soon as I, like, signed up, I noticed that it was very different to a lot of feds that uh, I sort of were, was experimenting with. Uh-huh. Um, I think the age range was a lot older. Mm. Uh, the maturity was certainly a lot higher. Less. Uh, well... <laughs> Depending on who you ask, I guess. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was a very different environment, though, at the time. Uh, I remember I had my I had my call. I took him. I think I made him in like 20 minutes. <laughs> and I realized as soon as I did a DM with other people that it was a big mistake. <laughs> because from the get-go, this is before I did the Hunter thing. Okay. Um, I was roasted because I had like, what was it? I had like the Jeff Hardy like sleeves. <laughs> Uh, I like John Morrison pants. I gotta look us up. I gotta find it. Uh, you won't find <laughs> oh, it. Oh damn it! Because the attire I had when I <clears throat> when I actually started doing like real matches and ambition like televised was much different. Because uh, my friend was like, "Yo, this looks terrible. Let's let's see what we can do about it." And uh, who roasted you though? I'm sorry. Who roasted you in the dark matches? I don't remember specifically, but I think it might have been Kent. Oh no. Free. He might have been in there. It, it was a long time ago, so I don't remember much. I do yeah. remember being the laughing stock of the, of the deal. Yeah. When I was like, oh. <laughs> Cheese and crackers. It was, it was terrible. It was the worst. But uh, we went back went back to the drawing board, and uh, we made something that was uh, a little more acceptable. <laughs> so, so, sort of, because I remember once once you, like, you had the look, I was like, oh, okay, well. I mean, yeah, he was more of like a steampunk sort of attire, like back in Ambition. Yeah. Um, and uh, that was that was better. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't perfect, but we were getting there. Yeah. Um, like when I when I first was there, though, uh, a lot of things like didn't sort of mesh with me. Uh, I think I wasn't used to the environment. Uh, in what sense? Importantly, I was. Um. At the time, I guess people weren't very communicative. Communicative? Is that even a word with I each mean, other? I mean, it might be. I'll give it to you because you're the uh, fucking I mean, back you're the then neuro it was guy. Game. We didn't have Discord. Yeah. So um, that and I was very kind of nervous to approach people, even like parties, because, you know, uh, I'd be in the party and the whole time I'd be silent. Not because I'm trying to keep the gimmick or whatever, <laughs> uh, but because it was just like, I, I don't know these people. These people are like so different from what I'm used to, you know, like. 13 year olders, you know, <laughs> screaming and <laughs> banging my mom, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> it was a very, very different environment. I can't stress that enough. And so after two weeks, I kind of left, said it wasn't for me. Um, and then a year later, my friend was like, hey, let's give this another shot. Uh, so the character was overall the same because originally he was just the guy who didn't speak English that well. And yes. That was about it. <laughs> um, but when we, <laughs> and it was super ridiculous back in ambition. I, I had it like completely over the top. And so when, when I came back, I sort of toned things down a little bit, but, 
Um, I remember the, that. the English. I remember, the I remember English was still a big I remember part. that so much. Oh my god! I remember the early one because when you came back, I was like, oh. Oh snap! Look, look, he's learning. He he learned more. He learned more English. Like, I, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm go ahead. Go ahead, because it's gonna play in later. Go ahead. <laughs> I remember when I came back, and like the first week or two, I did an RP. I remember specifically Cody Storm being like, uh, you know, he he's good, but I see all these grammatical and like these spelling errors. I'm like, uh, you should work on those, buddy. <laughs> I think it was Ken or somebody else that was like, Cody does not get subtle gimmicks. <laughs> he doesn't understand the subtleties. It wasn't very subtle, but Oh <laughs> uh, no, no, you know you know why? Because not as we as we know, as YouTube will learn over the, the course of our t- tenure on YouTube, um one of the biggest OCW marks. So when I first encountered Drago, you know, even in even in basic conversation he used very broken English. So the first the first conversation we had, I honestly thought I was dealing with a foreigner from Eastern Europe. So I, so I tried to keep my conversations very simple because like, oh, he doesn't know the language. He doesn't understand the language. And I remember uh, one part, uh, maybe 2014, we had like, um, what the hell was it? A summit. Yeah, there you go. I was going to say a town hall. Yeah, a summit on Skype. And there was a bunch, like, you know, 20, 30 people there. And uh, 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 Drago showed up. I was like, oh, okay, Drago showed up. Cool, man. This is good. I'm like, I'm glad you're awake because, you know, I don't, it's probably like like 4 a.m. in East Indian, the fucking in the Iron Block. So, you know, I'm glad you're here, buddy. So he's like, he's like, no mic, no mic. I was like, okay, no problem, man, no problem. So, like, I'm answering questions, and then he would hit me with questions, but he would just not. You, he, I, I, basically, he goes, okay, uh, sensation, what rookie do if. If thing and uh, FBR good ethic, yes. I'm like, yeah, man. No, no, no. It's cool. It's cool, man. Your ethics are cool. It's just, you know, when you write, just be careful with errors. He's like, yes, English, no good. I was like, all right, man. You got it, bro. You got it. Yeah, cool. We talk about other people and you're like, oh, you mentioned this person. Like, yeah, but he the real, you know. <laughs> or, or somebody else would be like, yeah, he the jabroni. I never like him. I know? never like him at all. Because like, <laughs> my sort of speech was very much inspired by not only like people <laughs> close to me, but also more importantly, the Iron Sheik. Yeah. <laughs> with this sort of inflection and <laughs> the way he talks. <laughs> and I love talking like Sheik because I could get away with saying the F-bomb without being censored yes. or without you saying, like, dookie shoes. <laughs> yeah. Dookie shoes. <laughs> yeah, for people who don't know, like, because all the YouTube joints and the Twitch joints, they use, you know, they use... Uh, People doing voiceover, which sometimes works, sometimes awful. <laughs> yeah, man, dude. I'm sorry. Quick segue went like I was watching some show, right? And I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. You know, this is neat. The guy goes, he hit him in the pee pee. I was like, oh, oh shit, I gotta go, man. I <laughs> now I just realized my hobby, my hobby is a, is a problem. I was like, damn, <laughs> this is a, <laughs> I might be in the wrong yeah, a lot place. Of cringe. A lot yeah. Of if you venture into that. Yeah. So basically, what we do is we do a lot of writing, and we have we have the writing hosted locally, and now we're going to be use YouTube. So, uh, Dre, you know, whenever anyone, I I tell people on on you know on the weekly shows, keep the profanity down to a minimum, just because I don't know, like you know, I just I don't like to see it. Not it, it's weird because me especially, I'm very not in PG, but I'm like just for the for the shows, keep it whatever pay per views, you know, whatever. But some people try to be slick. So basically, whenever they try to say something stupid, I just control F. And anytime I see like, 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 fuck or shit, I'll change it to dookie shoes or farkin. It's like that. Fuck you. Now you sound like an asshole. That's what you get. I fucking told you. Don't. I fucking told you clearly. Don't fucking curse on the fucking weekly show. If you want to be a dick bag goodbye, now you got dookie shoes. How you feel about that? Now well, your whole series role like play. <laughs> a live TV show, you know, you don't want to be caught saying that. Yeah. You know, on live TV, it's kind of bad. So like, yeah, just, I kind of spit it around. So <laughs> Jake. Jake just go fuck, <laughs> fucking bullshit, <laughs> Bull- bullshit, fucking. So the the thing with with, with Drago that was the best is because this this went on for like at least two to three years, and then one day I go I go into like uh, uh, the chat, and I'm like, oh hey, I'm like, party. yeah, I'm like, oh snap, hey, oh it's Drago, hey, what's up, Drago, what's cool? I'm like, what what's going on, guy? And he's like, hey, what's up, going? What's, what's up, Jay? I'm like, what what? What do you what do you mean? What's up? You speak English? Yeah, I speak English. You sure? It's like, yeah. You fucking liar. <laughs> My whole I world. Didn't, I didn't mean to hide it from you from all these years. Dude. You just never, <laughs> <laughs> never caught on at all. You were like the only person that didn't know. I was in parties with other people. And like, as soon as you come in, you're like, oh, oh hey, there you go. What's up? I'm like, yeah, what's up, man? I was like, like wait, <laughs> wait, what happened to your accent? 
I mean, like, I mean, like, you speak English, dude? They're like, yeah. I'm like, oh. You were very upset. About oh, I was so. Your, your was, kayfabe was shattered. Yo, my k fizzle um, took, took my k fizzle and, took and a the fucking worst potato. Part was when you said, "Never meet your hero." And I took offense <laughs> to that in some response because I think Lucian was around the corner. I said, "I hope Mugen's skull fucks you." <laughs> Yeah, you did. You did say that. And he did he did that year. So, you know, it it is it is it is what the it cur- is. The curse of Bubba. <laughs> the cur- the curse of Bubba continues. So yeah, um so I guess take us through some of some of the, the highs because I remember I remember most of you here, but then I also remember the fact that you, you had that that like uh the t shirt and the cargo shirt. It's very, very generic. And I remember some people gave you some guff about it, but for the most part, around around that time, uh, the 2014. I didn't really get any guff about it. I think people expected, once they knew my gimmick, that yeah. you know, they expected more like Craven Hunter, and instead they got like a zookeeper. <laughs> they, they got Steve Irwin from Serbia. <laughs> like, originally, my gimmick was meant to be a comedic heel, um, and I wrote it like that. Like, yes, yes, I didn't yes, know I how that. well I was going to do. And so I wrote Drago to be a complete idiot. Um, so he would fail numerous times in the hunt. Um, but also he was a heel because he was like very aggressive with it. So he'd take out like a tranquilizer rifle and like shoot dudes, you know? Mm -hmm. (laughs) And then I realized that number one, the roster is pretty much all heels. Um, I was not going to be able to differentiate myself from other people if I kept going with that. And number two, I got over very quickly. Quicker than I'd ever imagined. Yes. Like the response was so good that I had no choice but, to, you know, low key turn face. Because it was because of the role plays, man. Because basically his thing was he was a hunter, so everybody was considered an animal. But he would like depending on like who you are as a person and your gimmick would be the animal, and it was just like I, you got you got you got to express because there was some of them that yeah, I don't even remember. I'd, I'd look at you know people's names and I'd Google like oh animals that start with whatever yeah. and so I try to sort of match the things with their names. <laughs> yes. And so for like AC Cobra, you know his name was. <laughs> I mean Cobra was already there, so I had to come up with something. I said air conditioning. <laughs> Bubba the air conditioning Cobra, very very elusive uh, Bubba, like the uh, cold weather. <laughs> His his tag partner Luke Fuentes, you know, remember, come on, come on. Yes. Uh, he, he was the big Luke Bear. The big Luke Bear. <laughs> you had the whistle to go, come on. Yeah, I had a little, like like a mating call, like come on, come on. Oh my God, holy yo! And, and I do this for almost everyone, and it caught on very quickly. Yes, everyone everyone loved it. Which which is the one? Uh, what did you call? Wait, what did you call Matt Suit? Did you call Matt Suit anything? Uh, initially, I called him the Suit of Sun Bear. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was. was I think if we ever feuded, I I, I would have changed it to like Matsudon or something like that. Uh, <laughs> like was, a mastodon. And what about what about uh, uh, crossbones? Because that, that was a really camel good feud. Bones. <laughs> yes, <cool>. camel bones. Yes, camel bones. Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ! He had like a he had like I remember it was a role play. It's a funny thing. There would be there would be like role plays where he's um you know hunting actual animals. But again, it's it's safe hunting, so it's no no, you know no blood and guts. But there was one oh, where there was like help. there was a grizzly bear and he like closed lines a grizzly bear. I'm like no 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 that's not gonna work. You can't close line a grizzly bear. They'll kill you. You could you could knock the shot of a brown bear though. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we changed it to a brown bear. I think that was the first time I noticed that you like edited my RPs because yeah. otherwise I didn't notice. I'm like, oh man, come on! It's I'm a grizzly. grizzly. No, you can't. You can't right. do a grizzly, but a brown man. Tr- you know, people, people fuck up. Mothers fuck up uh, 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 black, black, black and brown bears. I mean, no black bears rather. <laughs> brown bears you can't fuck with. Grizzly bears you ever can't fuck with. But but a black bear, fuck a black bear. What you gonna do, black bear? Just smack the shit out of him and whatever. So that makes more sense. You gonna talk about a grizzly bear? You crazy? But um, I think the the zenith of of your career in uh, OCW actually took ahead when Cody Storm became champion and he was very much the at at that time the very just you know competitive doesn't really write too much everybody a lot of people are salty about it because it's just like oh he just slam slam uh I you guys did what yeah. the best he could I think. yeah no he did I, and that's why I always advocated for him despite you know uh people's apprehension because everyone's like oh they'll complain who the champion is, but then if it's time to step up, eh, I don't want to do it. So then don't, don't, don't complain. Fuck you. So I remember that the kind of the part where everyone kind of took notice was you fought him 
and you beat him. And everyone kind of like, they got quiet, but then noticed, but then really didn't know. It was like, ah, you want to you wanna run that back? So when I, when I first saw I was booked against him um, because at the time he was kicking everyone's ass. Mm. I remember the first thing I said to myself is I don't want to be another victim. So I went back, and this is what you should do if you're not good at the game. You should watch. I, I went back and watched all of his matches leading up to that. Not everything, but like for the past like month prior to that. Mm-hmm. And I noticed what he did. I noticed what he didn't do. And so when we went into the match, uh, one of the other important things I had to my advantage was I am very good at mashing. And if you remember 2K14, yeah. once two dudes go into a tie-up, the it's basically who can mash the fastest. Yeah. And the first time I won it, and I remember him on the mic going like, oh. <laughs> I think that's when he realized he was fucked. It's like, oh, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> because from then, I, uh, <laughs> I, I, re- <laughs> I think I was like double yellow. Yeah. And he was double red. And yeah. Then, yeah, I kind of, uh, kind of beat him. Yeah, that was a, it was a, it was a really good. And the funny thing about that, do you remember which riot that was? Because I can, I got videos now, so I, I would actually probably play it as we're talking about it. Do you, do you remember? Mm. Not specifically, but I can look at it. Yeah, if you can find, find it, find let, it. let me know. But yeah, I remember because I was like, "Oh shit!" But like, people noticed, but they kind of didn't. That because it was a, it was a weird period that time. Not so much Cody, but just people enjoy twelve, thirteen was okay, and then fourteen was like people were kind of good for like the first couple of months, and then towards like when you, around the time you won, people were kind of mentally checked out, which kind of mm-hmm. always happens. Well, OCW. yeah, morale. I, I when I joined, morale was like super low. Like people. I got the impression that a lot of people just didn't really care and they were just kind of like going through the motions. Yeah, that happens. Um, and so I took that as my opportunity to like really sort of ramp things up and make Riot my own pretty much. Yes. Uh, so I think that's in the end what, what really got me over. <laughs> that that's, what, that's one of them. And then like I remember after <clears throat> after that... We had, uh, you know, we, we we went into... The, I think that was actually towards the end of, of that season. And then we went into the new season, which was the... Uh, I believe it was the Xbox uh, One game, right? 22K15, right? Yeah, uh, Riot 382, by the way. That's oh, the one. Good. Uh, that's the one? All right, I'll, I'll write that down. Yeah, because I remember... Yeah, we went to the new game and... <laughs> woof. That... Uh, shout out to Bobby Minio for that one. It Jesus. was very bittersweet because <laughs> if you remember... Uh, before we went there at the anniversary show, I won the North American Championship mm. for the first time mm-hmm. uh, against Mugen. Yes. And that sort of kicked off our, like, gosh, only knows how long our feud has been. Our yeah, it's, friendship, it's, it's one of the, the longest feuds, yeah, right? Um, but when I won it, I was like, yay. And at the same time, I'm like, I'm not interested in the Xbox One. <laughs> uh, at the time, yeah. the console did not appeal to me whatsoever. Um, I remember talking to you about AIM about it. I'm like, well, yeah. here's these games on Xbox One. I can get on 360. And they're like, yeah. the same. <laughs> yeah, and then I was like, oh, god damn it. So then you basically, you, <laughs> you, you wrote that you broke your ass. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think I went super over the top because Drago was hunting for Tremors. Uh, if you've ever seen, <laughs> you've ever seen that movie or yes. if you haven't. Uh, yes. It's basically about big sandworms terrorizing a whole town. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one of those things launches up <laughs> and Drago just sort of lands on his ass I think on the jeep he was riding or something like that I think and, like, so he, he breaks his ass bone and he's sort of like I can't move <laughs> I can't move Bubba can't move ass <laughs> Bubba no we're good that's sort of how I wrote myself off for uh, for that sort of season yeah so he had to vacate the North American I don't really remember I think Mugen won it back maybe against somebody yeah he did and I think he kept it all the way until yeah. I came back. Yeah, because, oh, man, 15 was... Oof. Oh, I know, man. I bought <laughs> that for 1250 on Steam, and I feel still feel ripped off. Oh, it's... man, that was that was just... I mean, shout out to Trance doing the best he can with what, what he got. He became champion at the worst possible time <laughs> ever in the history. And people to this day will be like, oh, you killed, you killed that season. I was like, I don't, I don't think he did. It's just everybody, even my, even I, I was like, you know what? I remember, because I remember we had like a riot for that game. uh, The one like a year, a a couple days after the, the, um, the, uh, the holiday season. I think that was January and it was KD. I know, I remember the match was KD versus Trance. 
Katie beat Trance. So that was like, oh, okay, it's Katie's time. But I remember Riot itself, like I booked four matches or five matches. I got two. And I was like, I could either argue about this and and try to drag people through 15 <laughs> or I can just suck it up and be like, fuck it. So I said, I'm just, no, so just fuck it. So we, you know, we, we, we stopped and then, uh, we came back for the new game and a shout out to Pew and Bob because Bob redeemed himself because, uh, I didn't give, like, I was like emotionally checked out for, uh, for 2K16. I was like, ugh. but Pew and Bob were like, oh, you gotta, and then, you know, they got us back into it. So 2K16 came good game. Great game. Actually, we had a, a huge influx of people. Drago returns and proceeds, sir. And uh, I get right back into feuding with Mugen because <laughs> it, it wasn't even my idea. I thought I was starting fresh again, but he uh, he messages me like, oh, I heard from a little birdie that you're coming back. How about we feud? I'm like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> and uh, we we start. And this is the really where our feud really started because from then on, we sort of uh, beat the shit out of each other for <laughs> numerous pay-per-views. <laughs> um do numerous RPs where I would like go into his restaurant disguised as another person and like we completely wreck shop or I'd like prank call him or all sorts of things. Uh, we had a lot of ideas and I think we meshed so well because, you know, in character we may be completely different people, but in terms of our thought processes, we were pretty much like, how can we make this even more over the top than the last one? <laughs> this is basically how we treated our RPs. <laughs> so. <laughs> And it worked. Yeah. It definitely worked. I think like some of the top for the, for 2016 is like is like Drago versus Mugen One, and Drago versus Mugen Two, and Drago versus Mugen Three. Yeah, we had we had a lot of matches. Yeah, it was one of the actually one of the better rival. Like we thinking back, it's actually one of the better rivalries of the, of that of that season. I remember that when when did um so I remember you won the North American Championship, when and then you won you won the 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 you won the World Championship too, right? King of OCW prior to that. Yeah, who did you beat uh, for the world for the world championship? Pew. There you go. That makes yep. Obviously, yep. You go. So you uh, leading up to that match, uh, I was like, he's probably if he hits a finish on me and if I kick out, he's probably gonna try to tap me out. I like I didn't want to take any chances with this dude. So I think I hit like two finishes on him <laughs> and he kicked out. I'm like, nope. Not going to deal with this. So I hit him with, like, the Drago suplex, and I won. I was like, <laughs> GG. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I, hey. I couldn't take any chances. I mean, look, like, we always say that to end it, you know, to end, once you hit the finish, you can end it. Then that's, uh, he roll people up. Remember that? Oh, man, I didn't even going to talk about it. But, yeah, yeah, when he rolled up. Oh, that match was, that was another good match. Got, we got to roll back to one day. So then you you winded up fighting uh, Mugen again uh, when you lost the world. That was in the summer, right, of, of uh, yeah. 2016? Yeah, I lost the world title. Well, prior to that, I lost the NA title uh, in a four-way because, like, at the time, uh, I think at the time I may have been, like, one of the longest reigning North American champs, and you really wanted to get that belt off me, <laughs> and you would put me in, like, uh, two-on-one versus Savage U. <laughs> yes! Uh, yes! Yeah, against one guy who was the first guy to hand me that loss, uh, hand me a loss that season. And then, like, a four-way with, uh, like, KD... Cass and Tur Gurdon. Um, Which is the one when you actually lost to NA? Uh, it was me, Leon, Parker, and was it Tobin, I think? So, just to read, so what you mean to tell me is, is that once you had, did you have two belts at the time or just one? I had two belts. I had an it, NA in the world. So, what you mean to tell me is, is that once you had two belts, I was doing everything in my power to remove one belt from you. Mm -hmm. Huh. That's funny. Because I, I would I would message you on AIM and be like, uh, hey, Jay. And he's like, what's going on, Bubba? I, I won. And you're like, what the fuck? I'm like, oh! I fucking care that I'm going to just get this shit from you. Come on, B. You're not supposed to be main event. And I'm like, I'm sorry. But I mean, like, towards um, the last four-way I did, which was, you know, all guys who were former world champs. Yeah. Uh, at the time, I really didn't care about holding on to the belt. And I think the finish was... Um, Leon hit his sig on someone and pinned them, and then I hit like the Drago suplex on like Tobin, and I pinned them, and like they got pinned at the same time. But Leon gets the win. Yeah. I'm like, all right, that's cool. Because you know, it, it gets to a point where I don't really care. 
you know. Yeah, well, when, you, when but you, you get the uh, the premise behind it because this is the, this is the issue that I have with with with, uh, with, with Dennis because like, rrr, rrr. I'm like, well, you're not the only one, and and the thing is, if if I could recall everything, that I'd, I'd love that I'd love to have that option. Be like, look, in nineteen in 1977, uh, with uh, Tur Gurdon, I proceeded to, but I, I I can't recall anything. But I know as soon as someone is close to two or has two, I'm like, we have to. We have to, sure. but apparently I'm a dick and I'm trying to ostracize his stupid ass. But yeah, no, I didn't realize. So how many did I put you in? Because it's because <laughs> it's a two well, on after one. After I won the world, you put me in the, the two on one. Yeah, you put me three. Yeah, three, three. NA title matches. I think almost back to back. I think there was like one week of reprieve I had, but uh, yeah. Yeah. So I, think <laughs> I, I lost had... the NA title like the week before Summerside, and then I lost the world like <laughs> at some side. <laughs> no. um, it was a bummer, but I think it made for a much better story in the end. So. Yeah. And then, okay, so so that, that's summer, and then we kind of closed out with uh, you, you stopped. Did you stop for the summer? Did you have another? You had, or did you have another match for September to remember? I don't remember. Wow, I don't remember September. Uh, remember. Mugen defended his title against me at uh, September, and you won. No, no, you lost. So you lost back to back. Oh shit! Damn, I even re- I didn't even remember that. Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, he was on his game, and at the time, uh, I was very sort of mentally checked out. Yes. A lot of it was because of IRL stuff, but yes. uh, yeah. People people may <laughs> not know not this. Yeah, people may not know this, but uh, this this young man is incredibly gifted uh, mentally. Some would call him a mentalist, if you will, in the sciences of the neurologistness. Fucking smart guy over here. <laughs> <laughs> He's a smart guy over here. He's a fucking smart guy over here. He knows about the mental things inside with the neutrons and the electrons and the protons that goes into your brain cells. And sometimes we're talking like a Bill Cosby because we're just as for Flo Jo and So. Hashtag Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Hashtag Hervey. Hervey Winstein. Hervey Winbiker. Oh my God. Yeah. So, okay. So we get to 2017. Uh, not a bad game. Pretty good. I don't know if I if I like it as much as as sixteen because sixteen was was very yo sixteen was because there was just oh my god it was like sixteen was the best because sixteen had the new school and then like all the vets came back like what is good I mean I think it's it's my favorite season that was a yeah all the feuds and like it was it was amazing yeah like, I think morale was at an all time high back then yes it was, it was a lot of fun yes there was a lot going on. So then we we start twenty we start twenty seventeen, and and now you are titleless. I'm trying like I'm trying so hard to remember your history, but I can't. So you got you got you got to help me out. Uh, let me see the first pay per view. Uh, what was the first pay per view back? Let me think. Uh, I think I know we did the program with. Uh, it, it was the Vengeance for Glory thing. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. No, the, the anniversary show. I won the S Cup. Yes. And then Dennis went also on the S Cup yes. on the turmoil side. And so you came to me and you were like, oh, do you want vengeance or glory? Uh, vengeance being because you, I think, powerbombed me off the top of the cell yes. at uh, September to remember. <laughs> because of Mugen, Almost right? Coming, you know, the, the mind control, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the mind control <laughs> gimmick. Who, I can't help. I can't control myself. Who you got? Why did you run away? I'm sorry. <laughs> he gave me the choice of either fighting you or fighting Dennis to prove who was the real... Uh, the real Scott Bubba slash uh, King of OCW. The real Bubba, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, I chose you. <laughs> <laughs> and you. And I remember, I think it was on. Yeah, you. You told me like, I do not want to fight you, B. Please. <laughs> I'm like, I don't. I don't fight you. I don't want to fight you. I catch these hands. Did you're, we fight? You're like me. I, I don't want to fight you. Yeah. Come on, I'd rather do so many other things. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what's messed up? I don't remember if we fought or not. Did we fight? Road to Glory. Oh man, that's head drama. EU Mugen. Head tra- oh, the, yeah, the, the, it was a uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But before that, uh, you you put me in a handicap match at the Clash. Uh, <laughs> me versus H two O and Liger Mask. Oh god. Going for the infamous hurt, uh, roll up heard around the world. Oh, that was amazing. Oh. I was so amazing. <laughs> that was. Uh, I was. I was actually kind of getting heated during that match not because of the finish or with spider because uh, h2o was still like super fresh at the time mm-hmm. and he was trying so hard to do his springboards but all he winded up doing was bouncing off the ropes and just doing running moves toward me i'm like oh my god please, <laughs> please. do something else <laughs> come on 
Oh man, yeah, I, I like, oh man, I remember that the spider special. And then you didn't kick out. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm very bad at the mini game. I don't like it at all. Oh so. man, yeah. So, so then what? What happened was af- after that we did the whole uh, the Muj- the Mugen angle with me, and then uh, we wound up all. That's when we did the. Is that we when we did the road trip? Yeah, we were lost in like the middle of nowhere, and unfortunately, we had to stay together in order to find out where we were supposed to go and what we were supposed to do. I remember that. Like, I remember there was a lot of fun stuff for that. We had the church fight. Was it the church fight? Yes, like because uh, you suggested from uh, Kingsman. Yes, that we do that thing. Oh, that RP was we epic. Fought, uh, Herman Derman or German Herman? I don't remember. <laughs> we <what it> fought <laughs> Deacon Derman Herman. <laughs> and it's oh god, I gotta look up that role. That role play is amazing. Oh, that was so much fun. It, we just yeah, we were trapped in like a blimp prior to that. <laughs> we'll fight you and you and me. You were fighting on a blimp. We were in the cube. <laughs> the cube. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit! You know you haven't touched on you haven't touched on uh, our favorite our favorite side NPC was probably over to a lot of other people. Bubba. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> so, no one. Ever- so I think prior to the um, no. Uh, so I think after the clash, sometime after that, uh, or before that, no, before that, uh, Mugen kills Johnny Law, um, who was Drago's cameraman and eventually became sort of a character of his own. Yeah. Um, and so he screwed up his face real badly. And because he was in the hospital, Drago didn't have a sidekick of his own. And so in a couple of prior RPs, uh, Drago had captured like an African lion. <laughs> and he sort of just kept him around. <laughs> <laughs> and he came up to him and he's like, you're going to be my new cameraman. And he puts like a, a GoPro. He puts like, he puts like a, a bike helmet on him and with like a camera like taped to the top. And he's like, you are a cameraman now. <laughs> and that's how sort of how that thing started. He's like, I will call you uh, Bubba. And <laughs> Bubba the Lion. Yeah. And then he again. Doesn't, he doesn't talk. He just growls and you know, just, grunts. The, the, funny, the funny thing is, like, I thought it was ridiculous, but literally fucking NPC Lion got over than a lot of people in OCW, which is ridiculous, but it just goes to show you how some people just don't even try. <laughs> The guy, yeah. the goddamn lion got over. I remember because when we had the church RP, the, the lion was just like, oof, oof. The lion didn't even get involved. The lion was just kind of outside, like, oh boy. And then we, we, he has we, a personality of his own. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. He, he, the, the lion is very like, uh, how do I put it? Like, uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to say nonchalant, but very just indifferent. Like, ugh. It's kind of like every time something happens, lion's like, oh, whatever, man. We'll just, yeah. we'll just do what we gotta do. It's fine. <laughs> Like, uh, what happened after the church role play prior to Road to Glory? Because basically the idea was that Mugen had ca- Mugen had my, my character captured, which is silly as it sounds, and then he was doing all kinds of fancy experiments, and then Drago <laughs> winds up getting captured looking for me because he wants to kick my ass. So, so we so we both get captured. So Mugen's being an evil scientist and whatnot, and long story short, or sh- a short story long, like there's all kinds of global adventures that happen and, 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 and uh, fuckery. We get to a church, have a, uh, have a, a, a fight at the church, fuck everybody up. Looking for chump, looking for change for a bus or whatever. We got the church, like uh, uh, you know, the cops show up, like you know, free sucker. So we all get arrested, and then like at the end, you see the lion just coming from the back, like oh shit. He, the lion just kind of sighs <laughs> and he just follows the, the squad cars. <laughs> He's like, I guess, I guess I gotta do a prison break. <laughs> That was great. Oh, that, that that's a that's a fucking this is crazy. I wish like this is stuff like that that needs video for because it, it's just like so fucking obscure. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then um yeah, so we have the fight at Road to Glory, which is oh my god, I got dropped on my that head was, so many times. That was very I felt so uh, oh boy because it was extreme. We used like ladders, yeah, uh, chairs, <laughs> so all ins- sorts of things. <laughs> many mugenations. Oh, uh, it was foods. so bad. I think I, I think I, I'm the one that, that fucking ate the one. So I think you cracked me, right? I think it was. Yeah, I, I was trying so hard tiger, not. Man. I was trying so hard, like, to to just let it be Mugen, let it be. And I just and then like I hit him. He felt like, oh god, it's gonna be me. And sure enough, like oh, <laughs> right in the temple. So then, uh, yeah. So then, that takes us to because now you got your vengeance. So that takes us to resolution, which is our WrestleMania. And, uh, yes, personally, my favorite match I've ever done, and yeah. nothing will ever top that. That was you and uh, you and Nate, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. Nothing will ever top that. Mm. That was such a great match that, like, e- even if I had like stopped there, I would have been happy. Yeah. Um, 
because, you know, making it to the main event of Lucian was really, like, it was very good timing on our part because um, I had wanted to feud with Nate for a while. And um, at first when I approached him, he said, oh, if someone wants to feud with me at Lucian, um, we'll see if anything gets cleared up. I'll let you know. And then eventually, you know, he lets me know, like, oh, let's uh, let's do this. And um, <clears throat> the initial premise was very much a sort of Rock versus Cena dream match. Yeah. Um, um, but that sort of evolved into, you know, the whole revving thing and Denny being involved and me cucking Dennis out of the <laughs> world title yeah. more than once. Uh, <laughs> uh, I remember, I remember the, yeah, the premise was that, that Nate was tired of, like, not tired of being champion, but he, he figured, he fi- you know, he figured that he'd step aside and fade into the sunset. So he's going to give give the belt seemingly to Dennis, who at the time wasn't a complete piece of shit. So, so, so that was the idea. So we come to find out that Dennis is a piece of shit. Drago finds out about it. If I'm, if I'm mistaken, correct me. I'm, I'm uh, my timeline is, uh, is a little, is a little bored. Right, something like that. So, so, something <laughs> along those lines. So Drago's like, no, Bubba, you have to use the honor. At which point, Dennis is like, Ree! I was gonna get the bell. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> and uh, which opens up, uh, you know, the the whole Dennis uh, entitlement saga saga thingy. But uh, yeah, so at the end of the day, Nate decides that you know he's going to put it on the line, and then they they fight at Lucian in one of the best matches of of Lucian history, uh, which may or may not be saying much for the simple fact that you know for most well, of OCW's career, the main event has been trash. <laughs> Lucian, I, I I'd watched all the Lucians okay. up to that point, the the main events at least mm-hmm. to sort of gauge where we were at. Mm-hmm. I was very anxious uh-huh. leading up to it. You know, the match had already been done, but uh, I had no idea how other people were going to react. Yeah. And I don't remember. It was a triple threat Russian main event. Oh, man. Uh, I think Valmont was in it. Yeah. And I think like, Valmont trips uh, some fucking dummy. I Valmont don't remember. Trips and, uh, some dummy. Maybe, maybe Dermot. I don't know. But yeah. anyways, I, I remember watching this and thinking, this is the most boring match I think I've ever <laughs> I watched. Think, wasn't this like, like 60 minutes? I think it was. <laughs> Something like 16, 20 minutes. Yeah. This was on no, no, it wasn't six. It wasn't sixteen, twenty minutes. I think it was sixty. Are you sure? Sh- I don't it, know. It, it certainly felt like sixty if it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was on SmackDown twenty ten. I was just watching it like, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah. This is so bad. <laughs> yeah. And I don't mean I don't, and I'm not a type of person to like shit on people or anything, but it's like, oh man, this is. Yeah. <laughs> it was rough. Yeah. No, I mean. I mean, it is what it. I remember it being one off a ground clothesline. I was like, "Oof!" <laughs> like that. That's to, that's how you know there's no qual. There was <clears throat> there was no quality control back then. I was like, "Man, that is just wow, boy." I can't because I remember seeing it like because this is this is we didn't we didn't stream stuff, so I just basically would just put it up as it went up, and I just remember watching it and just going, "Well." <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's always next year. I can't, you know, I'm just gonna try that. And uh, I, I can't even, I can't even talk because uh, I fought Smythe, and that was okay. I, I think that was an okay match, maybe a little longer than it needed to be. It was pretty long. Yeah, it was like four. I remember that was 47 <laughs> minutes, and that's ego. And I'm fine to say that now. I remember um, the Nate Aries match for I think it was seven or eight. That wasn't a bad match, but the, uh, you know. The end, the last match should have been Leon versus Parker, and I've said that you know I said that the day after that that should have been the the, the last match Leon versus Parker should have been the last because that was one of the best matches. As like I want you know what I want to do a top ten sidebar I want to do a top ten Lucian matches and I'm I want to I want to do that sit down with people and, and figure that out. But yeah, so back, back to the point rather is that there was a lot of really bad matches and you know you look back and you were like oh well this is terrible so now let's see where we stack up so continue sir um so yeah uh we this is i think the first solution where we had like a real well i think uh lucian 10 we used like i'm pretty sure past solutions you guys like use like xbox parties or like i don't know what you guys did but i'm sure you didn't have like a sort of structured viewing party like we do now no 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 we didn't um so like I was very anxious leading up to the match, and, like, because like I I really enjoyed it, and I know Nate loved it. Um, to me, like the match itself was perfect. The story, the pacing, um, even like down to like the last song in the match. Yeah, yeah, I that I remember. I, I suggested that to Nate. I'm like, use this, and 
and it was <laughs> it was nerve wracking. What song was I it? Watched that. Uh, it was the final boss theme from Yakuza Zero. Yes. And like, <laughs> it couldn't have been more perfect, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Like it was nerve wracking being in the viewing party. I remember so you. I remember you mentioned that. Yeah. You were saying like, "Oh, stupid Asian ref!" And it was oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always that a was completely unintentional. I like when that happened. I was dying of laughter. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, man, I was so because it's, it's a little moments when you look back like, yo, if if that fucking stupid Asian ref. <laughs> Oh my! I was so I was so because I always I I always want Nate to win, man. Even like it's you know it's it's the, the whatever. Yeah, I remember you were like, man, I don't know who to root for, and then it was clear at the end uh, yeah. who who side you're on. I'm like, yeah, Nate, but I'm like, I was like, uh. <laughs> I mean, no, no, no offense to you. That's the same thing with Doug, like with Dougie. All of Dougie's matches, I don't want him to, like. I want him to win, but I don't want him to win. Same thing with you. Like I want you to win, but it's like I don't want you to be Nate. I don't do that. <laughs> So yeah, so, so yeah, I remember because you mentioned that you, like you were, you know you were you were bugging out about it, but then yo the people was was losing their mind for that for that match though everyone was going crazy. Yeah, like because uh, most of the match was actually like outside the ring. Yeah, it was pretty much a brawl from start to finish. Pretty and, much, uh, a little different. Yeah, a lot of great moments. You know, the uh, Jagana driver to yes. the table. Yeah, uh, the shooting star press, which I actually landed. <laughs> <laughs> She was amazing. The Asian ref dying. Oh my, that fucking ref got me so mad, yo. You were so heated. I, yo, because it was over, dude. It was fucking over. And that ref was like, oh, well, you're coming. Oh, no. You fucking. I was, so, I was like, oh, this fucking game is stupid. This game is so stupid. This game is so stupid. I hate it so much. I hate it. I hate him. I hate just, I hate the Asian ref. That was just like. So yeah, so you became the the world champ, and the funny part is, if you go on the site now, you'll still see you as world champ. <laughs> we gotta update that. So Never bad. forget, Bubba. <laughs> you gotta update that. So then, um, you wanted up working. Uh, uh, after Lucian, we had. Uh, who did you defend against after Lucian? I know Dennis was at uh, uh, Summerside versus at. Ah um, uh, yes. Savage Lands. So funny, funny tidbit about about that. So he had the whole friend uh, friendship fight thing. Uh. Uh, the first match versus was very not pleased. He was like, "I know I'm not the best, but Jesus Christ!" Did he? Did he? Did he talk to you about it? Yeah, he was like, he was bummed out. He's like, I, he's like, I know I wasn't gonna win because Drago's really good, but but man, <laughs> but, but man, no, because like he he was like really like sad when when we were done with the match. The first one, yeah, because you beat the fuck out of him. I mean, that's like what I do. I go hard. You know? I know, but like it was like. like <laughs> so then I offer, I was told him like, hey, do you want like, no, I, I know I say no redos above all the time, but that's just kind of like, eh. Hey, like, you like you, you wanna, want one? Yeah, wanna like, go you wanna go make a better match? He's like, no, we have a best two out of three because I'm not gonna give a shit if it's just a redo. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's fair. <laughs> all right. Have a year. I didn't even know you guys uh, were two out of three. I just know you did another. I was like, yo, just if you just have ask ask for another fight and see how you know, see how you do. Like at the end of the day, I always assume people could be mature about it. And at the end, it worked out because that last match was actually a lot better, a lot better looking. Mm -hmm. Oh, a lot better. I think the first match was like ten minutes or something. Yeah, it then, was just then, it was it was abuse. <laughs> and the second match was was a lot better. Yeah, yeah. so that that can happen. It's not. I don't, I don't mind that. Like uh, not every match can be Dimsmore versus Parker because Jesus Christ. Rip. Oof. 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 <laughs> I think the only other one that that tops that is Ed versus Court. Oof. Oof. That I remember co commentating that I was like, man, he's being molested. <laughs> <laughs> man, he's touching him. I mean, I mean, I don't think he consented to that kind of touching. Jesus Christ, Ed. I was like, that man has a family, Ed. God damn, Ed, stop it, Ed, no. Like it was like Head six move, minutes. <laughs> Head move, man. No. <laughs> I was like, man, court, like court. I mean, you can you can hit the reversal trigger, court. It's okay. <laughs> I think he, he, can, he only has three reversals, court. You can just hit one. if you if you can get him to get to one reversal, you might. Nope. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. That was that was bad. Like it was like that that the 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 the, the Dimsmore Parker one was was especially bad because like they built up a really good feud and then Parker just said, Parker just kind of said, "I'm going in dry, <laughs> bite the pillow," <laughs> and it was on Lucian. I was like, "Whoa, well, I mean, like, I mean, it is what it is, Parker." 
<laughs> you know, you don't fuck with Parker. So, so yeah, so you had the verse. I guess Parker never even like offered it. <laughs> no, Parker's an animal. So and yeah, and, and I, I Dems, figured as much. And Dems is, is, is the kind of guy where he probably he was like, all right, it is what it is. What are you gonna do? Rich yeah. is Rich is more like you know because they had like I mean, a story. I figured it would have been because it was like the main event. <laughs> yeah, so sure. that that you know that well I don't know the different animals. So yeah, so the second match actually was was good. You know, it, you still won, but it was it was a lot it was a lot better than mm-hmm. what than just murder, which you know not all the time you gotta see murder. Uh, and then we have the you know you go into the program with with uh, Dennis Dennis Blick. So tell me about that. Yep. Um. All right. So prior to that, um, I had debuted Dragana, uh-huh. uh, who is Drago's sort of lost sister, and she's almost a mute. Yes. Uh, oh, I can't even get it. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, leading up to that, because we already knew, because you wanted this match, uh, Drago and Dennis, yes. for months. Yes. Um, and I had written to Pam saying, oh, how about we have a Dragana madison match sometime, at, like maybe side. And she's like, okay, cool. And uh, so we had our two matches sort of scheduled then. Uh, the premise being that uh, Dennis feels like he's very entitled. He wants the world title, the OCW world title, on top of everything else he has. Yes, and then and, Nate, uh, Nate was going to give it to him, and then you you got in the way like a stupid idiot. Yeah, and he's pissed about that. So now he wants his vengeance by you know giving me a concussion yes. and uh, eventually turning into what will be a career-ending injury. Yes. Um. I'm very bittersweet. I don't know if that's the right word, because I've told you this. Yes. What what led up to it, and uh, we you never got to see uh, Madison versus Dragana because, no. um, well, I have my own beliefs, and the other party has his beliefs on what happened. Um, either way, uh, what had happened was we had did we had done the match. It was admittedly a shit show. It was about an hour long. Jesus. It, 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 I, I don't know. It felt like an hour. It might have been like 40 minutes. Jesus. But it was basically like I would hit him with like three in a row, four in a row, like finishers in separate intervals, and it would not end. And I was like, what the fuck? And I, like, I want to end this. And so I had no choice but to make him tap. He did not talk to me for a week after that. Jesus. <laughs> he was clearly very upset, but he never wanted to approach me about it or really talk to me about it, which I think kind of upsets me the most about it oh okay um and so i wasn't i wasn't aware i just i kind of heard the story i was like okay well you know shit happens because honestly wasn't i don't hold any ill will towards him but like i'm not happy considering this was in the pipeline for a while well the thing is i don't I, that that match was never booked that's why i didn't really pay attention to it like that was like that was was in the rp well yeah but it was never like i wasn't told like i wasn't told until like after the fact as far as i remember Right. right I don't think anyone. Yeah, I, like, I didn't tell. like basically, I I was in the impre- like I I was led to believe oh that was gonna be oh right, fuck it cool whatever we'll just we'll add it and you know, it since it's being RP'd about it we'll just we'll just put it to the show like it was never officially on the car so when I heard that there was the issues with the match and then the match got whatever I was like ah fuck it doesn't matter because it wasn't whatever so I was like ah right, whatever as long as it's written off I don't care as long as I got the main event I don't give a shit all right so continue. Yeah, so the morning of side, um, <laughs> he messages me, he's like, you know, in the midst. In the mix of uh, trying to settle things with Chance, because I guess he had trouble recording. Oh, man, he, him. yeah, because he was trying to get, Cause, yeah, <laughs> you saw he was trying like, to get a hold of him for like 90 days. Mm-hmm. And then when he did, oh, my God, the colorblind. <laughs> and <laughs> the colorblind. He was oh, like, I, I'm sorry, but I might have deleted our match. Yeah. I was like, fuck. Fucking. I was livid. I was not happy. Like. I mean, oh to be fa- to be fair, though, um, I think that was actually when he had the PC issues, because I remember I remember, I don't remember the actual time. I know that one point something happened with his computer, and I, I do- don't I don't think it was that because he said like uh, he deleted it from his Elgato, oh, so, because he was trying to clear up space. I don't know. At the time, I didn't think it was true. Uh, now, I <laughs> I think I still hold that belief. No matter what happened, it happened, and. Uh, that's that. Mm-hmm. As far as the main event itself, um, it was okay. I didn't think much of it, um, simply because of the way it was edited. Um, a lot of the spots that we had in our previous like efforts uh-huh. uh, were not there. So, oh really? Uh, yeah. Oh. So like there was going to be like a pile driver onto the uh, the monitor, a deadlift German onto the monitor, um, 
And uh, the thing is, uh, prior to Lucian, let's go rewind for a second. Uh, I talked to Spider. I was in the Who chat with Spider and someone else. Mm -hmm. It was like, to shooting star or not to shooting star? Because this is after WrestleMania when we uh, saw Meek Mahan try to do <laughs> shooting star. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And, he, and Spider was like, if you do it, I'll let you use the the spider uh, the spider splash or the phoenix splash. Um, <laughs> I had that in my move set, and I think the first attempt at the uh, three stages of hell, I tried to do it, and I ended up trying to do a fist drop to the outside, which <laughs> looked like it broke my neck. <laughs> and I was heartbroken, but eventually, in one of the attempts, I did do it. Yeah. Um, it did not make it onto the final product, though. Was there a reason why? Um. I thought it was one. I, I thought it was just one match. So it was like it was a bunch of matches. No, that it, was three, it was three stages of hell. So oh, okay, it was, okay. It was. Uh, what was it? Oh, Old so basically. Bard, oh, so Old um. Bard table and ladder was the last one. Oh, so but it wasn't like so. Basically, it was it was cut to to keep like length, right? Because I remember it wasn't keep, that yeah. long. Okay. Oh, that kind of. Uh, I guess that's like a like. Yeah, yeah it is what it is, but. Um, I mean, yeah, any attempt to make you look foolish, I would I would I would have put you breaking your neck because I just I love I love watching people fail. Yeah, I would have put you like just dying, dude. When uh, when <laughs> when he <laughs> when he KO'd himself with the tape. Oh my god, we were laughing our ass off, and he was like, "Dude," because I think for the first match we did two out of three because it ended rather quickly the first time, mm -hmm. and so we did it uh till we had two out of three. Okay. Um, then when we did the table, when he put himself through the table, <laughs> we were laughing so hard, and he. And I was like, what are we going to do? And he's like, well, let's keep it. And I figured because I know you're going to see it and laugh your ass off. Oh, dude, it was so I – mean, it's perfect though because cause now like like with the story because he's like, look, I pinned him the first time. The second time I took myself out and the third time it was bullshit. So it's perfect. It works out from a storyline perspective. Oh, but, exactly. But, but what <laughs> – just... I remember – I was like, wait a minute. Because I remember, I remember seeing it and I was like – Nah, he's not. It's not gonna break. What? It's not gonna break, right? The, the, the game's not gonna break on him. Because oh, he, and, to, to, to sort of clarify, he did like a running grapple, which was like a jumping drop kick. Yes. So he drop kicks me like out of the way of the table, conveniently. And he lands right smack dab in the middle of the table. It and, falls because it got <laughs> and it breaks, and he loses. Oh my Next god. match. <laughs> oh my god! I no, because I I remember seeing it and I was like. When, he, when he, I, run, I saw him running, right? And then I saw the animation of him going up. I'm like, it wouldn't break, right? It's not going to. And then I was like, okay, Drake goes away from the table. I'm like, is he going to? I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. It's going to. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, as I said earlier, I laughed so hard I almost farted. Because I was like, oh, man, that is just the worst fucking possible luck in the world with this fucking game. Okay, so then uh, then you guys had the ladder joint, and um, that the editing at the end was weird. Cause like, oh, cause but cause basically, I it, my understanding was it because it was like you know because, God forbid, the funny thing is the old games you could, you could put you know if it was for a championship you could actually have the championship up there, but because for some reason. You yeah. take two steps forward, seventeen it's, steps it's back. Case. It's always the money in the bank. So that, like, from that perspective, looks dumb as fuck. So it kind of you yeah, got to the top and it kind of cut, and it's like you want like, oh, briefcase, okay. And then he slides in the ring or something like that, and as soon as he does, it cuts to me like taking the championship, you know, out. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was a uh, like you really can't. Do, I mean, that was the best way to possibly. Yeah, there's no you really can't cover that shit up because the fucking game is stupid. <laughs> so yeah, so so you are triumphant, and <laughs> and then like the next night. Bubba, I'm I'm out of here, Bubba. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or the next week, because we take the right, we take the ride off, except for this time, because I'm a fucking sociopath. Go ahead, sorry. So yeah, I retire the the next week on Riot, because I remember even you asked me, I was like, okay, Bubba, you vanquished the Denny. What now? What? I'm like, I retire. I was like, what? Like, oh. <laughs> I was like, well, shit. Why did you just fucking lose then? <laughs> what is it? Well, <laughs> fighting champ. I get it. It's fine. Um, what was that? No, because I told you actually in the events of like, uh, 2016 Summerside that I was like, next year is probably going to be my last year going full time. Yes, yes, I remember. Uh, for numerous reasons. Yep. Um, a lot of that being sort of trying to focus on IRL things a little yeah, more. Yeah, it's fine. As I said, one of the smartest um, people on the site. So yeah, I got it. It wasn't a problem. I was general, I was bummed out. 
general sort of disinterest with the game. <laughs> okay. Um, disinterest competitively. Really, okay. Really was the reason. Because, uh, like, if you're a guy that just hangs around the site and just does a match occasionally, uh, this this doesn't really happen to you, I guess. Mm. But uh, when you're a guy who's at the top, like how I was, um, yes. every week I'm scared shitless <laughs> because it's like I have this kind of reputation to uphold as a guy who, you know, takes everyone's ass. Yes. Um, and so every week that's just that just sort of piles on and like it's not a very good place to be in your head performance anxiety i get it yeah okay go. that that's actually yeah. that that's actually kind of kind of actually interesting i think um a few people have that i know dennis has that a lot like he mentioned before like on you know cert, like for ps4 he would not go on the the chat because he has to focus on the fucking match and then when he would fight me i'm like get on the chat and i would just talk shit and win because i'm just in his head and then uh, i know nate I don't think Nate ever had it because I or maybe I, I shouldn't even. He's speak mentioned for him. to me that he knows what what it feels like. So okay, yeah, because well, remember he was there with. Uh, I would have loved to. I would have you know honestly, I would have loved to see you. Uh, I would have loved to see you and Dennis back in like the the golden era. That would have been fucking interesting. You probably wouldn't be. You guys probably wouldn't be here now. Maybe for the most part, but it would have really been fucking interesting to see like how you guys would have dealt with that wild west mentality that was back in the day because oh boy like it, it kind of been interesting because i could i could see people like advocating oh man you should uh you should do something about drago you should do something about dennis you should do something because like, people would tell me to do something about nate i'm like huh <laughs> what are you talking about well you know you're protecting nate i'm like i'm protecting <laughs> nate like yeah you know you, you guys uh you just want me to be a champion but you're protecting him i'm like Okay, so you want to do something, you step up. And yeah, you so him. so what I would do is I would I would get Nate, and then I would tell Nate, and Nate would go, well, I guess it's time to you know to whatever, and then Nate would murder people, <laughs> and then people would just stop talking. So I I would just would have been interested to see like what you guys like you know top tier guy. Actually, uh, Parker was was th was there kind of, but he didn't become the monster <laughs> that he is like kind of like now or back then. But I would have loved to honestly see you, uh, uh, Parker, um, Dennis, uh, uh, Pem, back then. That would have been like really fucking cool to see, like how you guys would stack up against that horse shit and fuckery. I played like, the games back then. I know you played them, but it was a, it was a different. It was very wild yeah, west. I never had like online or whatever. So I, honestly, I, I, I had yeah. no idea about like feds and all that sort of thing. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of crazy because I never really thought about the uh, the performance anxiety aspect of it. Because again, we're we're very competitive, so I mean, we're we're hybrid in the sense that you know, honestly, I tell people they can get there, they can get to the top, you know, with the pen or with the sword, but with you know, but when you can do both, it's a lot easier. When it's when it's just one or the other, it's a little difficult. Like you got a guy like Jet Draven, who's not really bad mechanically, but he's basically cardboard, so it's like sure. eh, it's not really translating. So he said that this season he's gonna step it up and and whatever, and I look forward to seeing what he got, you know, what he has. But then, you know, you got guys like uh, like Dupree, who are kind of like the total package. Uh, Parker is actually, really, you know, the total package. Most of the guys on the top are the total package. Like right. Dennis, uh, Pam, um, you know, Parker, Pew to some extent, Mugen, uh, maybe Cassidy to some extent, like when he, you know, uh, in 2016. Yeah. Um, even Spooter in some aspects, but not totally because he's still garbage. Uh, but, yeah, it's like <laughs> it's just um, – Having that mentality, so I honestly, I you know, to be when you think about it, like I couldn't, I couldn't be like that. No, like I couldn't every match I have to because you have like that bullseye on your back. Like, oh, this guy's gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat well, exactly. Drago. Damn. Yeah, so that that makes that makes constant. like, a, yeah. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. You know, if you're a top guy, or if you have a championship, or even if you're just a, hot, a top guy, you know, everyone wants to claim. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Everyone wants to claim your scalp. <laughs> I mean, but that's good though. Oh yeah, sure. That that because like, that's what you want. You want people to come at you know you, you come at the king. You best not miss. Sure, that's the good thing. That's and the thing. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Back to what you mentioned about uh, sort of character versus on the sticks. I'd say writing a sort of a compelling character is much more difficult than being good on the sticks. Cause, yes. I mean, at least these games they're n they're not all that hard to play, to be honest, because with the uh, things they've done to online recently, mm -hmm. uh, reversing is a lot easier. Um, well, it's no name. longer based on reactions. It's on anticipation. Really? Yeah, huh. because like if you were to play 2K14 and back mm -hmm. online, 
you would have to be pretty much spot on with your reversals. Okay. Except in like maybe very specific circumstances, but like 15 and onward, uh, the sort of, there's no like real like cooldown on your reversals online. So you can pretty much just tap it, you know, not as much as you want. You can't like mash it, but like, at, like certain intervals and you'll reverse like 80% of everything that comes mm, your way. Maybe I should um, Writing a that. character is super difficult because, yes. I mean, if you want to be a heel in OCW and you're new, Good luck. it's going to be really hard. Yeah. Um, because everyone wants to be the badass. Everyone <laughs> wants to be, you know, <laughs> destroying people. And like, you got to have that sort of uh, relationship between like how, how you are writing wise and how you are on the sticks. Because let's say if I'm an undertaker type person and I get my ass kicked by like AC Cobra, <laughs> oops, my gimmick sucks. And yep. now I have to go back to the drawing board. Yep. Um, so that's why I initially wrote Drago as an idiot because if he lost, <laughs> he wouldn't have looked too bad. Yeah. Cause he wouldn't care. <laughs> no, it actually uh, makes, makes a whole, a whole lick of sense. It's, it's, it's funny because I can actually we, we're gonna wrap it up soon, but I can actually go through that like you know, in depth because it's it's really like I never honestly thought about the competitive aspect of OCW. Like my my thing is like look we're we're a community, but then at the same token, I get that sometimes people don't gel either, sure. and that and that kind of that kind of works into it. Like in my ideal world, like back in the day, I used to always be angry. So now like whenever there's any kind of beef, like when you told me about the stuff, like when versus told me about the stuff with you, my stomach hurt. Uh, when, when when you tell me about stuff with Dennis, my uh, my stomach hurt. Like I don't I don't want to hear that. Like, just like come on, just 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 guys, just come on, just thank you, Lord. I mean, I don't want to have. Like, no, I know, I know, it's not the thing, but it's I just don't like have beef with anyone. But it's just like, yeah, it just shit like happens. I've been wronged, then you know that's yeah. when I'll step up and say something. But, and it's just know. like that's the thing. It's like at the end of the day, like come on, yeah, don't don't do, like we're not 2006, man. Like this is what I love about this new era because. This new era is actually makes makes my job so much easier, and I, I'm thankful for it every fucking day, despite being trolled incessantly. I'm thankful for it so much because, like, I don't have to to fix matches. I don't have to. I don't have to like be dreading a show. Like, oh god, who 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 do I have to fucking yell at? Now I can just be like, all right, boom, 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 bing, bam, boom, we're done. It's up, and then bing, after boom, that, bing. it becomes bing, boom, bing, bang, bang, bang. You hit him in the you hit him in the thing. You take the thing, you boop, and. <laughs> <laughs> so like I'm so thankful for that like and I've said that since 2016 like I'm thankful for that everybody especially like guys like, like, like guys like you uh, 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 like, it's a host of people basically you Parker Mugen Spooter H2O Court uh, uh, Austin Trance uh, I said H2O so Doc Dennis Pam mm -hmm. probably repeated them again I'm a little tipsy Kent especially uh, uh, all I gotta do is is open up their section I see what they have scroll down Control C, Control P, done. Do you, you you don't know how thankful that makes me as a human? Like, oh my god, thank you. Like I'm like I just I just want to do like the, the the fucking Hunter Hearst Helmsley curtsy. Thank you so much. It's it's because it's it, it it makes my life so much. Even even KD, who does not possess a computer, <laughs> types out his role plays. Can't bold them or, because or, or it makes would, videos. Yeah, can't you know, he can't bold his role plays. So it take you know, but. He does it in a way that I can take his two or three, four or five stupid sentences, fix them real quick, and it's not it's not a skin off my back. I, I love that so much. It, it makes my job exponentially easier. But back to the topic of that performance anxiety, that 127%, I understand it is weird because I would not I would actually would not survive OCW. I really wouldn't. I would be like um like that guy who but I'll basically be J Jacob Trance. Show up every now and again, like, you know, compete every now and again, and then kind of talk shit on the side, like, oh, look at that. Uh, you know, say something mm. schmug. That would be me because, like, I like, oh, Jay, you're, you're pretty good at the game. I'm like, yeah, nah, nah, not every day, man. That's why I only fight, like, twice a year because I, I can't do it. Like, like me and Mugen will have our matches, and we'll, we'll, go, we'll go for, like, three hours, and it doesn't matter who won or who lost. We'll say which one looks the best, and we'll use that one. Like like the first time we fought for for Lucian uh, ten, we went about two and a half three hours and we we enjoyed every hour, every minute of it because, you know we would see we were f testing out stuff. There was one match where I like swept them, and I was like yeah use that one. He's like no. I was like yeah you're right. And then the next match he's fucking swept me. And I was like he's like ha ha. I was like oh boy no it's not that one. <laughs> so then we you know we we had a bunch of matches and then like we I just at the end of the day I was like yo just use the best one and that's what we use that's that's how it like should be but obviously it's not gonna be that every day because you can't do that every week that's that's ridiculous mm -hmm. but it's just 
it's kind of weird because that's the competitive nature, which is to the point where, um, not to sidetrack, but I'm learning about uh, car drama. Not this is not related to OCW. This is not related to like the the car community. The car and community. The car community. Like they have, you know, the, I guess the the cars they 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 go in all these little different sim feds. So. What I've learned from uh, from Dennis because Dennis and Johnny, uh, jo- Johnny D, they're like the only liaisons that I know about. Are like they know about this stuff. I don't. So how it works is is that, you know, they'll have these like if you if you don't really see it because I don't think you're on Twitter, dude. But like I'm on Twitter for you know the E Fed shit, and you'll see like these really dope calls. I'm like, oh man, these calls are cool, and they have these little videos. Oh, like, oh, yeah, I, cool. I have a Twitter, and I see some of that too. Yeah, they're, you know, they're they're really good and, calls. And, they're really good like the face scans are really good mm-hmm. and all that mm-hmm. and you know they're they're like accounts that like use pictures of real people but they're like not really the person which freaked me out so it's like <laughs> they're like double double catfish i don't <laughs> yo, that yo that that's how much of a mark i am i'm like man these are a lot of attractive people until someone said <laughs> until so until someone said you know that's not I'm like really i'm like no i'm like oh my god i'm too old for this shit uh, i'm just i don't even so yeah, so apparently like what what they'll do is depending on the place, they'll have like a cheesy comp match, and then like the and then after that they'll they'll um they'll uh, uh, uh choreograph a regular match, but in my head I'm trying to think to myself like, all right, if me and you fight, and you cheese the shit out of me like I'm not even talking about OCW style like OCW aggressive mm-hmm. Drago stun combo FPR fucking get get up your asshole because I remember you two you you and you and Parker loved them stun combos like oh god like like put it up the tailpipe and then like I gotta fucking put on a, a like oh oh look look we're we're having a fucking bro- that yeah. would that would make me so furious. Like, fuck him. He fucking cheated me, and now I gotta make this motherfucker look good. (laughs) So they do that. And then, like, and there's, like, actual call drama, which is fucking weird to me because in OCW, it's like, like, uh, let AC Cobra come to me and say, why am I opening the show? Suck my dick, AC Cobra. (laughs) That's what you're opening the show. Fuck out of here. Like, um, that's... It's so strange. Like, <laughs> like, is people w- argue about their placement on the card or like? No, I no, don't... not in OCW. Hell no. Hell I no. know, but I mean, like this card drama. Like, yeah. oh, my car looks better than yours. Oh, my face scan is better than yours. Or, or, oh, or my... because, oh, because I'm a bit of like, like ma- imagine like, like a uh, uh, Dupree telling me why is my RP starting the show? Why, why is my RP in the middle of the show and not the beginning or the end? I'm like, yeah. suck my dick, Dupree. Is this what I'm, the fuck? I don't, I don't care. I don't, you know. It's it's just it's just so strange to me that like this kind of stuff exists because in OCW I can measure like a per, all right their writing ability cool and then like how they are in the game so I'm like if you're a rookie or a nobody you don't get to say anything even guys at the top like Dennis Nate whatever nobody ever complains their placement on the card ever they just say okay where am I okay and then they do their match that's it. Like I can ne- I can never imagine somebody like like uh like Sophia. Why am I opening the show? Like uh, <laughs> again, suck my dick, Sophia. But that's why you <laughs> open the show. Like it's like whew, it's just so strange to me. So to bring it bring it all back to like the 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 call stuff. I kind of honestly get your point of view with the with you know performance anxiety, which is weird to the point that like you had a video. Where uh, you're fighting Leon with he with the uh, with uh what is it, not Curtis what is it um damn what's it yeah name? it was Kurt Hawkins Kurt- and Billy John Cena because <laughs> he he posted that dumb picture of him beating us as like uh, Enzo I'm like piece of shit so I got him good because he gets pissed off with the major reversal so I think I majored him when he was trying to go for a power move yeah like, oh, major reversal and you know I DDT the shit out of him and at, like the whole time I'm like marking out because you know that's how I gotta psych him out into like not kicking out yeah. <laughs> that's so what I do to Parker. Like, oh my god, he's gonna win! He's gonna win! That, that. I laugh my ass off when I do win. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then I'm like, wait, you have the game? He's like, yeah. I'm like, but you said you would retire. He's like, yeah, I'm retired. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna play. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, I understand it, so I'm not gonna press it. But I was, I was a little, I was a little disappointed if I'm, if I'm honest. I was like, oh, okay, oh, all right, okay, RD money. You're just gonna fucking, just gonna fucking pick up the game and not even fucking. All right, well, if that's what you want to do, you know, fucking, you do what you want. That's uh, that's the funny thing about OCW. I actually like that. Um, you know, pretty much everybody at the top or who was at the top kind of did. You know, they 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 held it down at least for a time. 
So, like right now, it looks like uh, like Dennis and uh, and uh, I guess Ding or Pam are doing it, which is which is great great to see. Nate comes back as needed. We got the, you know, the um, I guess the reserve slots and whatnot. But uh, it, it's kind of good. My only thing when it comes to OCW, and for the most part, I've never had this issue. Thank God, is that when people assume that you know they're above the brand, which that that that'll piss me off. Like, as long as you're doing what's best for the, you know, what's doing what's best for 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 I guess the the spot, I'm cool. But when you try to think that you are the spot, that's when I'm like, nah. So thankfully, I, thankfully, I've never had that issue. Like, and and when I've had that issue, it's always been like someone who doesn't matter. So it's like I don't, you know, <laughs> I ain't got no problem fucking giving giving you the one eight seven, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, we we evaluate our stuff. So right now, you're basically pretty much retired. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wanted to also drop one other bit. So you had the Dragana character, and Dragana was a mute. Uh, because I'm such a mark, and I, because I'm such a fan of the written word. Dragon, his character, Dragon, which is Drago's sister, never really spoke. So, after, if I'm, it, it, I might be messing up the timeline, but I think is, is was it after you retired that Dragon spoke, or she spoke intermittently? Like, no, but when 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 she whatever when she kind of like had the full not the full speech, but when she had the one that little moment that I was like, oh my god, I almost cried. <laughs> Lucian, that was Lucian. Yeah, that was when you were going out to fight Nate, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so basically, his the, the the sister had a moment where you know where she doesn't speak basically, but then she kind of says something to the. What did she say? What is what was the word? Do you remember what it was? Uh, I think she just said like yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was a little more prophetic. I don't know if it was good luck or or or, or something. It was something. I was like, <sighs> no, because Johnny was all like, you know, go kick go kick some ass out there, and she's like yes, yes. Yeah. I just I was something just like, like she, I was yeah. like she's spoiling. I'm in my feelings right now. Over here, real quick, in my feelings. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's, uh, you know, I just want to touch on that. So, thank you for this fucking, you're like, you're, you're, you're fucking straight up tell all. You should get, you got to tell people, listen, everybody, fuck you. I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, everybody in the locker room is a piece of shit. <laughs> no good motherfucker. <laughs> Sensation, <laughs> I'm going to suplex you. Fuck you on your ass. <laughs> Put you in the camera clutch and make you humble, you piece of fucking shit, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, and have a good day. Yeah, so uh, thank you for... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you do... I was going to say if you have any advice, but I guess that kind of sums it up. <laughs> if you have any advice for the next generation, fuck you, rookie. And have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, rookie. Get on my level, you piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, but like, if we're gonna be serious, yeah. Though, if you want me to like suggest things for yeah, like, give rookie. give give some oh. advice for the new generation, because like for I guess you're pretty much you know you out the game now, so you got to give the OG advice. Sure. So I know you had the podcast with Bray a few days ago, mm-hmm. uh, and really, I think the most important thing to me in OCW is create a compelling character. Yes. Um, because that's I think like the most important thing. I mean, you can be great on the sticks, but if you're like you know, if you're like cardboard, then it's not no one gives a fuck. So, I mean, to do that, you need to like make sure you answer this one question. And Ooh. it may seem broad, but Ooh. like, who are you? Right? Yes. What is the big picture? If I can't summarize your character in like a sentence, then you're not doing a very good job. Yes. Um, and sort of also to that effect, try to differentiate yourself from everyone on the roster. Uh, if you really want to become a heel, then do something that's going to be different from what everyone else does. Because I guarantee you, with, with like our decade plus history, that whatever heel stuff you have planned, it's been done. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, for me, I really like playing the baby face because it's just sort of it comes very natural to me. Like if I were to turn Drago heel, I would just like I, I, I wouldn't be able to do it that well. It really isn't anything. Um, because of the background and sort of what I built for the character. It, it wouldn't it would never work. Mm. Um, so, yeah, uh, like, I don't know if you need to take inspiration. I mean, I always took inspiration from whatever movies or games I would be playing at the time. Um, and I would just sort of insert that into my RP as like a general scenario, like the one. Uh, what was it? A furry convention. I. <laughs> I invaded. I did like the whole golden eye sequence where I would like pop in a dude on the stall and like beat the crap out of him or something like that. <laughs> um, this giant bear, I have to fight him. I hate furry. You go to sleep now, Foxman. 
You go night, you go Mimi. Yeah, with like the net, right? Yes. That, oh my that god. That is taken net. from uh, like if you don't know what it is, it's like a, it's really like a net, like it's just, just a, like just a t- <laughs> in my head. You know, this is the best part about interpretation. In my head, you remember you remember you, you know those tea doilies that you? <laughs> I always pictured it as like a fancy tea doily just throw on somebody, <laughs> <laughs> and they have to set it like death. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, it, it was from a movie I watched called Kung Pao, where um, I mean, the movie itself is like basically like an old Kung Fu movie, like dubbed over like new voices and mm-hmm. some new footage. Uh, and there's a part in it where the hero is running to try to save the damsel in distress. And uh, he gets a very tiny net thrown in his face and he just starts sort of like collapsing. It's like this net is like <laughs> barely even bigger than the size of an average person's hand. And this dude is like struggling. He's like, ah! Uh, you know, he, he gets like, he passes out because the net is too much. And I saw that. And I'm like, wouldn't that be the funniest thing if I threw that at people and they just like fall down? <laughs> they just pass out from the net. <laughs> and that's how that started, you know? Oh, God. Yeah. Like, from off the top of my head, there's a bunch of like characters that you kind of know what they would do in certain situations. Um, again, you can ba- you can basically list list off matter of fact, let's let's go to the front page. Um all right. I'm just, it's going alphabetical order. So Anthony Baker, I would assume is a fuck boy. <laughs> Austin yeah. Lee is basically into himself. Um hashtags. Yeah, right. Uh uh B seventeen mm, I mean like well he just came back so we don't know for sure. Yeah, prior to that, it was kind of like a question mark. Uh, mm-hmm. well, Bloom doesn't count. Bray, Bray now has direct di- direction. Cactus Gage uh, is no longer with us, but uh, was the the owner of the thingy thing. CJ O'Donnell actually looks like um, what's his face? Uh, he looks kind of like an Irish Sami Zayn. I saw him fight Dennis a couple times, and he's not bad. He, he, it's okay. weird because he's a flippy dude, but he's bigger than Dennis. So when he does flips, it looks really strange, but he's not a big guy. It's just that everybody's bigger than Dennis. Cole Jackman, don't know shit about. <laughs> Corey Hendrickson, don't know shit about. Dennis Black spoke about it plenty of times. Dimsmore is a very fleshed out character as well. Sure. Uh, from you know every aspect. Draco Caesar, obviously you. H2O, you already know what he's about. The, you know, the head rookie or the dead rookie. Illuminati, a.k.a. Spider, you know what he's about. Uh, Jet Draven will learn. Down the line, this guy I have no idea who the fuck that is. Johnny D, aka Sentai Hair, that that are, that's one of my favorite characters actually, just because it's so irreverent. Like the role plays make like they make sense, oh, yeah. but they don't. I lo- that's one of my favorite characters. They, they are very over the top and like, and yeah. That's why I like enjoyed working with them so much because yeah. like, the, we very yeah. much have the same ideologies of like let's take this thing to the next level. The <laughs> funny the funny part about Sentai Hair is that, um. I don't know where I I don't know if I saw it on the site or on Twitter or something, but somebody said, "Yo, that Power Ranger uh, bunny lady is the shit." And I was like, "Lol." <laughs> so some someone marked out for Sentai hair. KD Angelo, you you know basically angry black man since day one. <laughs> KD is KD and God bless him. Cassidy Hayes, vampire dude. Lois Flojo, no comment. <laughs> Lucas Crow, <laughs> justice for <laughs> justice for Flojo. Uh, L- Lucas Crow, you already know. Um, Shout out! There's a special thing on the anniversary show regarding Lucas Crow. Check it out uh, this this uh, Sunday, five o'clock on Twitch TV. Uh, hopefully, Drago will be there. I'm assuming he will just for a bit to be like fucking people. Mass and Cox one of probably the most over here personalities of the last year or two, or maybe even the last decade. Never has someone's been never has someone been consistently unlikable in such a short span of time. Sensation, obviously, comedy, uh, fucking nerd, uh, Mugen. The fucking overlord, the Nate Ortiz. <laughs> the best face, right, currently. My Nate best <laughs> friend who will win the title come Sunday. Thank you. <laughs> who didn't compete for seven months but got a title shot anyway because fuck it, dude. <laughs> Nate Ortiz, the second best face of the site. Uh, Nathan Carter, creepy. Randy Sexton, uh, uh, sexually creepy. Recon, legend. Uh, Ricky the Dragon, Rag, 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 uh, Basically... What I've seen of Ricky has been very flippy. Uh, I don't remember his writing, but uh, hopefully I'll get to know it. Seb Abbott, basically the dirty gypsy madman. <laughs> uh, this guy, the new member, so it doesn't matter. Smipe the Wonder with the most powerful move in all of uh, OCW history. Of the, all time. Of all I, time. I said when I faced him at Riot, if he hits me with that, I'm dropping my controllers. <laughs> Just got to get You got to drop it. <laughs> Sophia, the first lady of OCW. Stigmata, a rookie. Uh, 
you see, I've seen his look. He he's gonna be defined as as he's gonna be one of the defining characters of this year. I can call it right now. Tiberius Dupree. No one needs to say anything about the betterness. And then Rex. Uh, Rex. Um, Rex is Rex. Uh, <laughs> I mean Rex. Well, he he dressed up like a Nazi that one. No, no, it was. <laughs> it was a Nazi. Into the chambers. One way in, one way out. <laughs> Listen here, Resolution 11. Someone is going to... B- Let me stop. I don't want to get... No, we're not We're not getting, we're not not getting. getting kicked off YouTube. I, we're not getting kicked off YouTube. No, we're not. I refuse. Get to the chop. No, nah, we stop. No, nah, we're, not, we're not getting kicked off YouTube. Yeah, so the list continues on and on and on. Pretty much everyone we, we, uh, we, we mentioned is a defined character in every aspect of the word. Everybody. Matter of fact, let me quote one of my favorite defined lines of... Uh, actually, today was a really defined line. Hold on. It was from a role play today that fucking killed me. I actually, uh, I fucking, I died. I think I posted it in Discord before I had my meltdown. Um, what the fuck is it? Uh, oh, no. Gotta scroll down. Scroll down. Where the fuck is it? Damn, this is a long fucking thing. Jesus Christ. I'm the killing, killing time. Trying to find this role play because this word is really mean. Okay, where the fuck is it? Uh, da 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 da. Where the fuck? Ah, uh, there we go. And I quote, and the other night you did your own commentary while I did all of the work. Quotation marks. Look, Skag, no one takes, no one other than Madison could take the bullet to the face like that and live to tell the tale. <laughs> Shout out to Madison Cox and Danny. <laughs> bullet to the face and bullet to the head. Someone's selling the black bullet hoot. So yeah, so uh, thank you, Drago. This ran on really fucking long, so I'm gonna have to wind up using uh, that really long North American match you had with Crossbones, where you jumped off the cell fucking 20 minutes in and then just continued the match for another 40 minutes. Yeah, Meek Mahan eat your heart out. Oh my god, that was the, that that made me so angry when I saw like what? But that, that's a you end with that. You don't you, you end with that, guys. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> It's okay because I remember I remember Adrian Bold and and, and Jose Cross they had a cell match right and uh, Cross threw Bold uh, off the cell. Uh, they built this match penitentiary match which is basically the cell. They built this match for Lucian. Uh, he threw him, he threw Bold off the cell and this is in two thousand nine. So you had a uh, every every uh, spec had like um you had like seven different specs and each one had like a special yeah. ability like showman yeah so uh the 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 powerhouse ability was basically like fucking comeback so you stamp you know you you get up you hit your hands like oh this fucking guy gets thrown off the cell goes through the table rather than sell it he hits power up he just stands up <laughs> fucking pe- pounds his fist and climbs right back up the cell it's like you motherfucker What's that? You know, fighting is spirit. Fighting you know? spirit. I was like, oh, I fucking hate my life. I hate OCW. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, yeah, Drago, uh, this ran long, but it's all good. Fuck it. Uh, I enjoyed this a lot. We learned a lot, and uh, it was nice having you, man. Thanks for having me, man. I can't I wait to look. for a while, and uh, yeah, this yeah. was really cool. Hopefully, it's everything you wanted and more. If not, uh, you know, we tried. <laughs> we, we, that's, the, that's the best we can do. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we can get the uh, the the you and Mugen one down the line. I'll just sit in for that one. That'll, that'll be great. When you guys <laughs> over a nice steak and just uh, just reminisce. Table for three. Table. <laughs> oh my, yo, that's not a bad idea. Table. <laughs> Actually, no, no, no. Gonna make a friend. Table for tres. Oh, that's true. There you go. Or table for tres. So yeah. So uh, in the words of the immortal Russell Simmons, thank you for coming out. God bless and good night. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Subscribe. Uh, I was going to say rate like it's YouTube. I mean, like it's uh, I, I, uh, Apple Podcast. Subscribe, share, tell your friends. We need subscriptions. We're trying to get 10,000 views because you know how it is. It's hot out here in these streets for these non-EFED uh, shit. So, yeah. So-